This week we are going to talk about GH peptides. Now let me start the video by saying that I don't know any professional bodybuilder that use peptides. They prefer to use the real growth hormone because it's stronger. So the first product we're going to cover is the sermorelin. This product was introduced back in the 80s, almost 40 years ago by Serono Pharmaceuticals. The idea was to look for an alternative to real growth hormone. Real growth hormone is used in children who have deficiency. Problem is that these children develop diabetes and cancer at an early age. So the medical community was looking for a product that was cheaper and safer in the long run. So Sermorelin has 29 amino acids. And this is enough to tell your pituitary gland to start producing growth hormone. So here is the advantage. It's not an external growth hormone. It induces your own gland to produce your own growth hormone. And that is the reason why it's safer, because your body is not going to produce more than you need. So the side effects are actually very low. Incidence of diabetes is very low in the long term. Incidence of cancer is very low. However, there are some cases when people develop edema in the long term. Again, nothing compared to growth hormone, right? It may increase triglycerides in the long term. But the main disadvantage is that your body produces antibodies and the drug store stop working after three or four months. That is the main disadvantage of this product. Now, this product was removed from the market in 2008, the brand name. However, countries like China, India, Pakistan start producing the generic. And now the generic is available all over the world the real product in pharmacies, and it's actually pretty cheap, right? You can buy a generic for $40. In the 80s, it was like $180, $190. It's still an injectable product, so I still have, you know, concerns for people who are scared of injections. Now, let's talk about the other product, the MK677. This was developed in the 90s, right? This works by a, by, a, by a totally different mechanism. It increases ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hormone that is produced in your stomach when your stomach is empty. This hormone increases the number of growth hormone receptors, increases the release of growth hormone and IGF-1. However, it's not specific, and that is the problem because also increase the release of prolactin, which produce erectile dysfunction in men. Also increase the production of cortisol, which may produce cancer in the long run. Also increase the, the release of glucagon. Glucagon will tell your liver to put a lot of glucose in the blood, and now your blood glucose increases. So, it's been, it's been almost 25 years and it still is not being approved by the FDA. The main concern is again cancer and diabetes. All the studies have been conducted in animals, right? Very short studies, two weeks, three weeks. Studies conducted over the long term in animals, more than two months, show some side effects about related to insulin resistance. In humans, the studies have been conducted also by very short term. So the FDA is still asking for a long term study using a big sample size with enough power to be able to see side effects in the long term. So based on the evidence and based on all the research, I would say that sermorelin is a lot safer compared to MK677. Now, let me close the video again by saying that these products still have side effects. They are still potent drugs. 
So just because they are weaker than real growth hormone doesn't mean that you can use this without medical supervision. If you want a consultation with me, you can book it through my website. The address is here down below. See you next week.